Good afternoon, LC people. Right then, I've had a busy morning this morning. Um, got the sprocket for the back wheel there. Sadly, I didn't have the seal that goes on the inside of that. Um, so my good friend has gone to fetch one so the back wheel can go in. And now, I decided I'd turn my attention to the engine. I missed the bit where I put the engine in, but anyway. What I've got is, and I've had this before, when I've had engines built and they've been blasted, clean, what have you, all the screw holes basically will have some kind of rubbish inside them, whether it be old gasket glue or just basic junk inside of them from the cleaning processes. So before I've put cases on, I found the screws didn't fit in and then found out there was junk in. So what I've got here, I've got my compressor set up, I've got my can of WD, so I squirt my WD in. And basically, I get my M6 tap. I've got one in here on the socket wrench, look. So I wind it in, I wind it out, then I'll blast out any junk, and apart from the stuff that collects on the, on the, uh, on the tap, to clean all the threads out. So I'm going round the engine at the moment systematically. I've just done this side. So I've cleaned out all the threads. Um, now the heads on this, it had also been done, it had been blasted, coated and all that. What we found is the plugs don't fit very well. So I've got a plug tap now, so I've got to take the head back off and tap those out. And um, basically I hadn't noticed when I put the head on, the inside there for the temperature sender, that also wants cleaning out with a thread tap, which I have for that. Um, so yeah, I've got the head to take back off. I'd put these covers on just loosely, so I will be taking the cover back off and all the, all the, uh, threads in there. I'm going to clean all those out to make sure they're cleaned up. Um, uh, it can be quite an aggressive process, uh, shot blasting, and we don't always appreciate the junk that's left behind. It's like when you have the frame powder coated, if they haven't blocked to pour the holes, you know, you can have powder coat in them. They just don't accept the screws. So it's time consuming and no, but I will have to go around uh, various screw holes on the bike and clean the threads out before I really continue any further. So yeah, that's my little job for this afternoon. If I get a chance, I've got to install the oil pump and the water pump. If I get round to that, I'll post another video. But for now, I'm on thread tapping duty. Thanks for watching my little video. Dilly dilly.